just the end of August, early September, we went to the top. And uh, actually, Paul Nichols very kindly sent me a message saying, um, well done, but you won't be there for too long. Jokingly and, and, and very uh, tongue in cheek, which is very nice of him to even notice. And um, yeah, look, it's been great for our owners and we've got great mileage out of it. Um, we're not under any illusions. Um, but you know, all we can do is, is keep keep going and, and you know to be still there um, for the whole month of September and, and into October um, we're delighted and, you know we had a good winner yesterday it's it's tough times you know and for us to have to, to have had 36 winners uh, this time of the year having missed two months of the season I mean I'm just I really we really can't believe it ourselves to be honest you know so um, like I said we're not under any illusion that we're keeping it warm for either Mr Nichols or Mr Henderson so um, um, you know but we'll stay there for as long as we can and we'll give it our best shot even the even the, the wet, horrible, windy days here are fantastic. It's a great place to train. Um, I've got a very good landlord, Rupert and Nicky Lowe, have been fantastic to us and provided us with a wonderful facility. Um, and it just means that we can concentrate and train on the horses. You can see we've got about 30 horses out there behind you just turned out in the lovely sunshine. Um, and that's great for the horses. It's great for the staff. They love working here. And um, yeah, it's been been fantastic. It's been, it's been a dream come true, to be honest. Hurricane Harvey. Um, uh, look again. I'm not, you know, I can't say to you we went to we went to Etoxer yesterday thinking we we're going to win because we didn't. Um, we went to Etoxer yesterday thinking that if we can get round in the first three or four, I'd be absolutely delighted. I have to say, Connor, you know, Connor gave him a fantastic ride. Um, it's been a difficult time for Connor Brace. Um, you know, he was leading, you know, one of the leading conditions the last two years. He's lost his claim a bit now, down to three. Um, but you know, he always knows that whatever Paddy doesn't ride, he'd ride, he'll ride. But the difficulty is, um, is we've been having one meeting, uh, so Paddy's always available. Um, Paddy's on a seven-day ban now, and you know it, it showed great character yesterday for Connor to to get on a horse like Hurricane Harvey and the one before Brief Ambition, who's a lovely horse as well, uh, and, and gave them both absolutely fantastic, fantastic rides. Like Hurricane Harvey, just couldn't have been happier the way the horse travelled and jumped and the way Connor. Uh, rode him, you know. Um, they had a bit of a dis disagreement at the first, and, and then from then on, Connor was just happy to sit and settle him and get him jumping, because that's what it was all about: was getting getting round the first day uh, over fences and um, produced him after the back of the last, and gave him a great ride. Yeah, just I was delighted for the horse and the owner and everyone, but I was really delighted for Connor. He may go to Chatham for that. There's a three mile in Chatham in two and a half weeks. If he comes out of the race, okay, he seems fine today. Um, he may go there, but. Um, the owners will pop up in the next week or two and we'll, we'll sit down with, with Paddy and, and Neil and Sally and we'll make a plan from there. Yeah. Champagne, well, I think you, you might have signed school this morning. Um, he's got a few plans, Foss, Last, Weatherby, places like that, but again, another one that was running a really good race at Chatham last year. Uh, Brian Hughes gave him a lovely ride, missed the second last, or uh, the third last, uh, I can't remember, and that put the, end, put the end to his race. And whether he was getting tired at the time, I don't know, but anyway, he's still more or less upsides in front by then. So, um, but he's really exciting and really looking forward to him going over fences. Again, he's a bit like Astillon in the fact that he's always looked like he's make a, uh, hopefully make a, a better chaser than a hurdler. Yeah, Petty Power has been a fantastic horse for us. He, he um, gave Liam Harrison his first um, Chatelain winner last year after being off for two years, uh, won the, the amateur race around there. Um, he's, he's up with a bit in the weights now, so I think we got a, 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 a Durham National or something like that for him penciled in, so hopefully um, we can get him back there, but a great servant to us. Yeah, Jarvis was very disappointing at um, at Perth, we ran him at Perth, and you know he won first time out of Chepstow last year at the at the same meeting, the Unibet meeting, um, and he was disappointing at Perth a couple of weeks ago, and don't really know why. Um, Paddy was hoping he, he he'll um, improve for the run, you know, but yeah, he travelled there very well, and then you know sort of got the three out and just weakened very tamely, ended up being fifth. But that's horses for you, you know, you can't win them all, and uh, he's back in one piece, and we'll we'll find something else for him again soon. You know, went to Perth and you know, I never think anything would go and win. But we went to Perth thinking we'd be very competitive, and we weren't. We were beaten a long way out. So, um, so we're back to the drawing board with him. Yeah, you saw him having his first school over fences this morning. Paddy said he was just a little bit sticky, but look, that's the first time he's jumped for us um, since he ran whenever it was at Leicester. Um, yeah, look, he's just—he's a beautiful horse. He's so laid back, he's so straightforward. He's very easy to train. 
got a great syndicate of owners, you know, Imperial Racing being a fantastic supporter of mine. Ian Robinson's been a you know a great friend when we when I set up as well. So um, look, I hope he turns up to be a, a, as good as we all hope he is. He's he's just he's um, he's done everything we want to do. He won round the entry last year, won a nice race, um, beat a nice horse of, of uh, the Noel Feely partnership, uh, Muck and Moore, round Leicester. Bit one, you know, he came out and won afterwards. Uh, yeah, I would just think he'll, he'll go novice chase, and we're not really sure where we go yet. But um, yeah, he, he'll be one to look forward to. We deliberately uh, avoided um, Cheltenham because we thought we'd go to Aintree, you know, a flat track. He'd already won round there, and um, we thought we'd go there nice and fresh. Um, and it wasn't to be. But look, that's life, and uh, we're great, delighted to have him back. And, and, and he looks so well. You know, Kevin Ross done a good job pre-training. Totter done it. He, it, it's been great this year because we, we, he's come, you know, this time last year we were still at the yard in Naunton and he's come here, he's settled into Ravenswell Farm and uh, he'll start off either at Market Raisin in 10 days time or two weeks, whenever it is, or, or Exeter. My feeling he'll probably find an easier race at Market Raisin than Exeter, but um, he's very exciting. I mean, he's late to the chasing game, but... Um, Paddy thinks it'll, it'll, it'll be a great help to him because it'll give him a chance, you know. Um, he's fairly highly rated, but he didn't do anything wrong for his last year now. You know, he won first time out, and then he was a very good third off uh, 11 stone 10 around Sandown. So um, he's a nice horse to go novice chasing with. Benny's won the boys' race last year. He's won, he was one leg of our, our, he was the third leg of our triple, triple at, uh, at Cheltenham in October and looked very impressive. And then he was favoured for the. Um, the big handicap, which I've forgotten the name of, <laughs> um, the, at the following meeting, he, he, he had met a bad jump at the second. Well, the hurdle was flat, and he met an awkward jump, and he pulled some muscles in his back, or he did something, and he was never right after that. He came back, and he had bad muscle wastage. He went, went the owners, uh, Bitterstone Stud, again, been good supporters of mine. Uh, he, he went away. They, they sent him to a local girl called Claire Hart, who did a great job on, um, uh, on getting him back together, and he, he came back here. I don't know, maybe three weeks ago, looking at an absolute million dollars. Um, the plan would hopefully be maybe to go back to the boys' race. The owners are coming tomorrow, um, and we'll have a chat with them and see what they see what they want to do. But probably go try to start back at the, at the boys' race at Cheltenham. But again, Paddy's really keen to get him over fences. Over two, we have schooling over fences, and again, he'll be another nice two-mile chaser. Castle Gandolfo is a uh, is a lovely horse that we we bought for a, a nice new owner, Nick, and uh, his friend Carl. Um, Carl actually trains greyhounds for Nick and uh, up near Sheffield, and um, uh, they're, they're they're both new to the to, to racing. Yeah, he he's just a lovely horse. It, 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 he was put to me from Jessica Harrington's because we train his full brother Takani, who's been fantastic for uh, for us and June and Tim Watts. Uh, he's Takani's full brother. He's had three runs in the flat. I think he's rated 78 or 79 in Ireland, and he's really taken to jumping. So really looking forward to him. Um, the, the two guys are just. They, you know they they love their race and and uh, they come down to the even from Sheffield to come down to the yard a little bit and, and it's lovely because their families are involved and it's lovely they can come here and that they you know that they that they're enjoying having a racehorse and um, they got a couple with us got one called Ala Philippe as well but Castro Kandolfo we hope could be very smart a very smart juvenile yeah he's probably still another sort of three weeks away and we've got another nice juvenile in there called Nazigai which um, um will probably run in a couple of weeks he's already won for us but um, no we haven't got a starting point for him yet. The Ascot Honeybee couldn't have done any more last year. He won his three bumpers and then pitched up at Cheltenham and you know he finished uh, 10th or 11th at Cheltenham, something like that, didn't disgrace himself. Gave Liam Harrison a nice a nice ride, first ride of the festival. Um, so it was great for Liam. Um, so yeah, he, he's a lovely horse and he'll, he'll start off over two and a half one novice hurdle somewhere, um, but he'll be ready in the next 10 days, two weeks. Honeymoon, yeah. Like, we took it to Stratford last year on the Monday, um, not last year, this year, on the Monday before Cheltenham. And um, uh, she was she big, she, the owner, to be fair, is the patient of a saint, Cedric and Jane Brooks. Um, we've had her since she was a three year old. Everything that could have gone wrong went wrong with her. Um, anyway, I took her to Stratford and I said to Cedric, oh, I'm not sure the ground's okay for her today. It's, we've had a lot of rain. And Cedric said, you're running her. So <laughs> he'd waited two years, spent a lot of money in between, and uh, he said, you're running her. So we cracked on and run her, and um, to her credit and to Paddy's credit, um, she ran an absolute blinder. I, 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 like, I, I was always hoping she'd run okay in a bumper, but I didn't think she'd win a Stratford bumper, and she came right the way around the outside. And uh, yeah, she did it really well, and I was just yeah, over, blown away by her. So she'll have another go in a bumper, probably go to Aintree, uh, Aintree bumper, 
uh, in a couple of weeks, three weeks, and uh, see where we go from there really, yeah. Ocean Cove again, his second season, uh, novice chaser. Um, hit the crossbar a couple of times last year. Very straightforward, um, and you know, he, he'll make up into a lovely staying chaser one day, hopefully, yeah. He's got a few options dotted around the place, but no, no, no rock solid plans for him at the minute, no. Silverhome was very exciting, you know, he's a beautiful horse that um, the, the Rookers bought us last year. Um, he did very well in his first bumper around Newbury. It's a great bumper, forms rock solid. And then he came out and won first time out for us around Chepstow. Beat um, Mac Fabulous of, of Paul Nichols, who went on to win, win the EBF final. Um, uh, we went from Chepstow to uh, Sandown to, a, to the grade one. Um, he just didn't fire at all that day. It was horrible ground. Uh, didn't find much wrong with him when he came back. But, you know, the Rookers are extremely patient people thankfully and uh, decided we you know we, we couldn't find anything wrong with him really so ground was drying out so um, but he schooled us more over fences and uh, um, Adams Wedge is already schooling more fences he rides for for William and Angela and uh, really looking forward to him go chasing again no real plans but I'll speak to them and but he'll start off two and a half mile novice chase somewhere and uh, looking forward to him running yeah lovely horse perfect candidate is almost as old as I am He's, uh, he's actually he's older than my, daughter, my, my second daughter, I think, so yeah. Um, what can you say about him? He's been fantastic. He's won out of every yard that we've been in. This is our third yard. Um, did the business again last year. He's placed at uh, Exeter, uh, won at Haydock, went back and was placed again at Haydock in a good race. He looks as good as ever. Um, uh, this year he's 13. We've done a bit of, uh, he's done a bit of um, team chasing and he's done a bit of um, autumn hunting and things like that. So. Um, he looks in great form in himself, so we'll go down the same route and we will go Exeter and back to Haydock. Gino, what can you say about well, Gino? Um, Kemp was about, um, uh, I think it was after the October meeting last year, he ran at the October meeting for, for, for um, someone else and uh, Kemp does after that. Took us a bit of time to get to know him and him to get to know us. He was set in his way, so, um, but he's been great and very enthusiastic owners that were here last week. Um, Jan and Bill Smith and uh, look, he did us proud at Doncaster last year. Paddy gave him a fantastic ride. Soft ground is is, is vital for him. Um, Paddy got injured for Cheltenham uh, and uh, Jamie Moore rode him, who'd won plenty on him. And Jamie said it gave him a lovely feel, but just, you know, the ground was too quick and he just didn't, you know, he couldn't go to speed when they quickened up, he couldn't go with him. But again, you know, wonderful servant. He looks a million dollars um, for, a, for an old boy and uh, looking forward to getting him out. Um, there's a race, I think, at, Sand on Rascal at the end of the month that will hopefully suit him. Yeah, Liston Barna didn't do anything wrong for us last year. He he got um, we ran him in that 100 grand uh, hurdle around Haydock, I think it was, and he fell. Um, but he bounced back from that, and uh, you know he's been a wonderful servant. Really looking forward to him going over fences, and uh, he's you know he's very straightforward horse, very easy to train. Got a great bunch of owners who are very enthusiastic. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing him in the novice chase. Um, Brief Ambition would be another one, really like uh, Brief Ambition, um, he ran uh, second yesterday, got beaten by a very good horse in Nigel's which finished 8th or ninth in the festival bumper, um, we were 10 lengths behind him at the festival bumper so we got beaten f 4 lengths yesterday, um, it was a great start, soft ground, and, you know, we will step him up in trip, I think there's a nice race from around uh, Ludlow um, where we started the Gallant Way last year. Um, so yeah, he's a lovely horse as well, yeah. We've got a nice horse there called Pallady, which has come to us from Ireland. Um, lovely filly. Uh, start off in Mayor's Novice Hurdles, very straightforward. Uh, and also a nice one called um, uh, Don't Hesitate, which has come over um, from Willie Mullins's. Uh, it's one of Jared Sullivan's horses. Sent Noel Feely a uh, video of our schooling this morning. He was delighted with her. So um, looking forward to her. Um, horse called Lies About Milan. Didn't do anything wrong in some Novice Hurdles for his last year. He, I just think he'll make up into the nicest day in chase or, um, you know, he just reminds me of a lovely old horse called Bradley we had. And uh, so I'm looking forward to, to getting him going over, over fences as well. The ones to follow, I suppose, are, you know, are the likes of, um, you know, Imperial Alcazar, um, Silver Hallmark, uh, Brief Ambition, I think is a lovely horse. Champagne Well, we, you know, we're, we're very excited about that. Uh, you know, I think quick grab him over fences. He ran a blinder the other day. Just got beaten by a very good one of Mr. Henderson's. Um, so yeah, I just think it, there's a few there that we could, 
you know, I'm very, I, I'm, I'm standing here thinking I could mention another 10, but, you know, I'm very lucky that we're just in that position at the minute. Long may that last.